All right, Warriors, do your breathing exercise. It's too chilly for me to be out here for too dang long. Look, my breath is making smoke. I don't know if y'all can see it. But I sure can, and I can feel it. Look, let's hop right into it. We're going to keep it 100. Pretend in our minds we're taking a badass stroll on the beach. And if you find yourself triggered, stay with me long enough to hear the solution. You see, it's one thing to power through these videos, skip through, and, and skip a process. And what you're losing out on is, at the end, the punchline, the ahas, the medicine you need to categorize the hurt in the right place. If you think for a minute that you're going to find a coach or a content creator that's going to make you just make this hurt go away as if it never happened, then you're going down the wrong path. What we learn to do is how to manage it. And that's going to be key in, in, in your understanding. Learning how to manage it and use that energy to catapult you into your success. Let's do this, warriors. Now, this is what I want you to understand. Narcissists coming around bearing gifts is another strategy for the Hoover. This is what I want you to keep in mind. Think about this. Who did they get that gift from? Who was their last connection with? Because that's who you need to be thanking. Because that's who probably bought it from you. If the funds were siphoned from them. Or it was stolen from them personally. Remember some narcissists in these covens, these family covens, are ops. Part of their job is to support the matriarch or patriarchy that they belong to. That's the coven, the family structure. And they siphon money from outsources and filter it in to the family. And they use the dysfunction as a tool in order for others to give them pardons, if you will. So now, if you ever hear this, this is what you need to be giving due consideration to and it, it makes my skin crawl when I hear it because chances are you're dealing with a narcissist and it's part of them laying a foundation of forgiveness or pardoning themselves before they even speak and it comes out like this I don't mean to be rude but or I agree with everything except a real man would do this, 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 and that. Or a real woman will do this, 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 and that. Or anyone comparing you to the previous relationship they were in. If it was so great, why aren't they with them? Why aren't they still there? Or if it was so wrong and so shitty, why do they keep bringing it up? It's a triangulation effort. To blow air up your ass, not bring you down, to let to elevate you, because eventually they're gonna pull the rug out from under your ass. Another one is when they side against you in a public way, but in private they're so supportive, but in front of others, they're against you. Oh, I don't agree with that. Instead of talking to you in private, they do it publicly. This is the reason they do it, though. Pay attention. Do I have your attention yet? Are you looking at me? The reason they do this in a public way is, without you knowing it, they're trying to gain the confidence of your inner circle, because later they're going to need them as a flying monkey to operate and tell them what's going on in your life. Where did you relocate to? What's your new phone number? Where... Did you go to work next? What businesses have you started? Who's your partners? Who's working for you? You see, the sleight of hands is to first align themselves against you so that later they can remind the flying monkey, oh yeah, you remember when they were saying this, this, and that? And I, 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 I said it you know, in front of you because uh, I wanted you to know I, I don't agree with that. They form an alliance of trust 
under the radar. So warriors, another one is when they, when you start wanting to have intellectual conversation with substance to say settle uh, a, a miscommunication, what you might think, but in theirs it's crazy making, and they usually try to end it with, oh, here you go again with more of that cycle babble. Oh, you're holier than thou. Oh, you're getting a case of the big head. Sound familiar? Anytime you hear any of those that I've mentioned, understand what you might be dealing with is a thousand percent narcissist. Well, your narcissist bank on you retaliating the disrespect. And it's why they make it obvious there toward the end they want you to know who was doing the dirty work because they need you to go against them. They need you to retaliate. And two, they hate not getting credit for a perfect plan. It's why they want you to know. They hit it this long. Now some do get sloppy there toward the ass end and that's why they bail. That's why they discard because they know the cat's out of the bag. Truth's coming out no matter what. I got to make a move. But another one is the psychopath sociopath. They want the credit. Are you kidding? That much time invested in such a genius plan? And that usually has a conversation that sounds like this. I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. So warriors, in their arrogance, if you don't retaliate and you listen to the countless content creators that coach you into knowing that the best response is your silence and absence. In their arrogance, they're going to want credit. And two, they got to protect this lie that they're bound with because they told everyone around them that you're sick. You have a mental illness and you're fixing to act out. And when you don't, now they got to defend the lie. People are going to start holding them accountable to it. Well, I thought you said you were being stopped. I thought you said. And when it doesn't happen, this is when others come out of the woodwork and let them know. Oh, they tried playing me that same way. Because they see the lack of interest and no one's chasing them. They have to make it up. And those that are chasing them aren't chasing them for affections. They want a piece of that ass. So warriors, this is why they march around life looking over their shoulders with a sense of paranoia. They have reason to be paranoid. They've pissed off a lot of people. And when the world starts closing in on them, Many of them find themselves destitute and can't make a move. They need to be bailed out. And it's why you see many of them dumbed down. Or you see them with a lower imitation of you. It's not because they had to settle. They're scavenging. For anyone that will believe their story and defend them against the ones they've pissed off. Now, <laughs> what I want to share with you are some tribe vibes. I've been meaning to do this, but I, look, I have occasional brain farts myself. And so, I wanted to give credit where credit's due. Uh, there was a warrior that commented, <laughs> and I just thought it made a tremendous statement. Follow your heart. But don't forget to take your brain with you. Man, that was so cool. And I want to thank that warrior for sharing it. Some of this stuff, it just, it needs to be said and it makes so much sense. And it brings peace to a troubled heart. And warriors, another is they bury... Oh, there it is. They bury a diamond just to dig up a turd and keep it. Something to that effect. I thought that was 
that was awesome and some of the content creators that some of y'all might be wondering who, Chico who, who do you endorse who is it now keep in mind I'll never collaborate well I won't say never shit I might who knows but people that I've been observing and we observe each other understand something I've had healthcare professionals psychologists that have actually said they've observed me and others to see if there's remnants and or cues toxicity cues and I think that's a beautiful thing to do and teach because this is what I encourage you to do. But some of the two that, that I've, I've, and y'all have heard of Dr. Romani also, uh, without saying, I, I believe she's just passionate about the work that she's doing and the lifetime that she spent doing it. She's one of the original OGs in spreading this awareness and stood alone for years, decades, doing the great work falling on deaf ears and being provoked for her stance another I want to share with you is the royal we Kevin I don't know his last name uh, the royal we was very uh, inspiring to me very instrumental in giving me ideas on how to serve up the truth with passion, without the need of notes or sounding so robotic, stuck in the loop. And being able to intellectually reach out and give and deliver a message with logic and a spiritual twist of truth. Because understanding that without a moral compass guiding us, then all you have is grandiosity with nothing to give gratitude to. Well, here's another is Surviving Narcissism. Dr. Les Carter. Boy, is he Southern. But dang it, what a lover of life and a passionate deliverer of truth and healing to so many and he has not ever stopped. He gives it an eloquent twist that you can remember it and take with you a certain motivational factor of knowing that he's speaking what you already know. He's just reinforcing it for you. A new up-and-comer that I find has an angelic voice is Southern Bell Rising. Southern Bell Rising. Beautiful insights taken from a personal journey and leading people to understand they're not alone and that compassion served in the right place can deliver the medicine we all need accepting her part in accountability, which is rare to find in the Western culture. Warriors, I highly recommend you follow these and subscribe to these channels. And understand, use your own discernment. You may see something I don't. But this is how we grow together and support each other. It's not all about spreading just the negative and exposing the narcissist. It's also about collaborating, rubbing elbows, and elevating those that are like you. Continue in your journey, your champions, your badasses. Numero uno. And I thank you for your support, Warriors. And for the girls in the office and those of you praying as prayer warriors for each other. Pass your tests. Stay in your lane. A part of us being accountable is an understanding that we deviated from a path that we knew we should have stayed on. 
Recognizing that is making you the beautiful warrior who's got the heart of a lion. Continue to allow this pain and hurt to catapult you to your success. Abstain from opening doors that the good Lord closed. Abstain from playing peekaboo with those who by actions prove themselves to not be in alignment with where you're going. And understand, you can't take everyone with you. They have to open their own door of understanding. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. Thank you. Namaste, warriors. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. A leap of faith. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling gonna at be 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your back. All right. All what right. made you want to skydive? What, what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. No? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And on, we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on, sword fight uh, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw there you go we'll have to do it again <laughs> all right when are you gonna get your license now I'm gonna work on it tomorrow <laughs> I'll well, be back Jesse, all right. thank you for jumping with us this guy oh, Lone Star. Man, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say what an honor badass crew I love it here the hospitality just phenomenal Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. What's <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother? Oh, what a fun! Hey, man. Glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.